Hey, welcome back to Mobility Wad. I want to talk about one of the problems we see with sitting. And this is one of the kind of often missed, missed pieces of sitting. Now, the obvious piece is that if Rook was born in a chair, he would magically end up forming. In fact, come stand up for me. Check this test out at home. You should have about 130 degrees of range of motion without cheating, keeping the legs straight. You should be able to pull that leg up to about 120, 130. Whoa! And magically, he fits about the same height as a grass chair. That's so weird. So the problem is we're shy here. So we're seeing a couple things. So sit down for me. That's called the Diane Fu sit. That's actually how you sit to the toilet. Jump, buddy! So here's what's up, is that if we sit tall, out and I say, hey, lift, lift your leg up as far as you can, you'll notice that we both only go just a few, few inches off the ground. If you try to do both sides, you, it's, it's, you're just not going to lift very up. What ends up happening, if you're trying to get your legs up, you have to tilt way back. And the reason is that the hip is working in such strange end range. It's really long, so you have basically a couple ways to maintain and flex forward. One is this kind of rectus femoris, hip flexor complex. The second is the psoas, the spine to the femur. Now, he's at end range of his capsule. Remember, he's only about that much anyway. And then he's weak sauce because he's working at end range. Dude, it's not, it's not that you're weak, it's that you're weak sauce. Weak sauce. All right, right? So how is he going to, as, as he sits in this position, how does he keep his torso upright? If his pelvis, his hip flexors can't do it, what's the mechanism? Well, the mechanism is, so as pulls me up. And so it looks like I'm sitting up and tall beautifully all day long, great, but I'm actually deeply overextended. And I've fired up my so as to be tonically short because no man, even if you're the root, is that good that you can sit and have that so as in a perfect position. So it ends up locking off. You start overextending through those lower segments. It looks like my back is flat. My mom yes. is proud. But really, if my mom loved me, she'd be like, dude, you overextend. Put that. So what you'll notice is that if you if you drop that down, it's a tough position to be in. It's almost like the yogis practice a lot to be able to sit for an hour or two hours, much less eight hours. So now, here's the problem. Here's my lead athlete. Stands up, so as is tight, and he goes, Arr! And his hip capsule is short, and his so has been short all day long. And then I'm like, hey, let's go power clean. You're like, no problem. I'm really good at that position. And so as you explode, that so has stays short, and now you hyperextend yourself. And you see local extension faulting. In the bottom position of the squat, <laughs> he's Indian, come on. So a couple things. First, you want to talk about, come on, it's true. I'm, this is people. This is people. This is people. So look. One is that human beings have evolved. Don't tell me you're not evolved for this stuff. Look where your hands go for texting, right? Perfect opportunity. Paleo chair evolved right here. But what I want to show you is that if he sits and is struggling for position, we have two options to keep the, 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 the back flat, torso up. The first is what most of us do, is that we have to pull using the same mechanism in the chair to get straight. Now my psoas is jaking me forward. It looks like I'm flat, but as I stand up, I get ugly man belly syndrome. Which is not cool. And as I explode, boom, I overextend, so it's difficult to open up the hip. So in this bottom position, the mechanism to keep the back upright is knee out. And this high torque hip position drags the pelvis into this anteriorly pointed position, and my psoas is turned off. And now my spine can do what its job is, or all my muscular can stabilize the spine. I don't have to use those anterior structures to maintain neutral positioning. Because as I stand up here, I'm already overextended. This is why people's back gets so hot when they receive. You've got to be able to get that knee out. Because it's the extra rotation torque that drags the hip into a good position. And now your belly can just do what its job is, which is not change. Things for thinking about. No wonder your psoas is so tight. Now it's wrecking you. 90 degrees. It's terrible. See you guys tomorrow.